Hey guys, it's Neil again from Heart of Texas Armory, and today I want to bring you guys a video review of this red dot from Nikon. So this is the Nikon Peak Tactical Super Dot, and it packs quite a few features into a price under $200. So join me today and find out my complete thoughts on this really nice red dot from Nikon. And before we get too far with this video review, I did want to let you guys know that I do have these red dots available for purchase at my website, heartoftexasarmory.com. And you can pick these up today for only $190 when using coupon code SUPERDOT. So that'll save you $10 off the price. So if you're interested in one of these red dots, definitely head over to my website and check them out. And taking a look at the specs of the Nikon Super Dot, you'll notice it is a very nicely designed and compact red dot here. So this is going to be comparable with most of your other micro red dots on the market, say like an Aimpoint T2 or a Sig Romeo 4 series, right in line with those size-wise and weight-wise. So very nice, compact, lightweight red dot here. Some of the features we'll look at here, we do have 10 illumination settings with this red dot, which is nice. Now your bottom two are gonna be night vision compatible, which is always a bonus. And of course, uh, settings three to 10 are gonna be your normal uh, settings that you would use most of the time. Now the dot here is a two MOA dot, and it's a very nice crisp reticle here. And it gets very bright, I will say, when you get up above say six or seven, it's very bright. Uh, battery life on this red dot is very solid at 14,000 hours of continuous battery life. Uh, not the best on the market. There are optics out there that have, say, 50,000 battery life hours, but 14,000 is very solid. And this optic does feature a auto shutoff. So there is a motion sensor in here, and if it senses no motion after 12 hours, it will power off the optic. So you're not going to burn your battery when uh, the optic is not in use. The, it does not have an auto on though, so keep that in mind. You will have to manually turn the optic on. Now, the, the construction here is solid. We have 6061 aluminum construction. Uh, it's built very nice, feels really solid in the hands, and it is waterproof and shockproof, and it's rated IPX7, so it is certainly a waterproof optic here. Another cool thing I'll mention is that this optic does feature the True Color technology from Nikon. So. What's cool about that is it doesn't have really any tint on the glass. So when you look through this, it is real life color. So uh, that is really nice. A lot of optics uh, compare in this price range uh, are gonna have like a blue tint or a green, green tint to the, the glass. This one here with that true color from Nikon, crystal clear, which is really nice. Taking a look at the operation of this red dot, it's very simple and easy to operate. So at the top of the unit here, we do have our two buttons, the plus and minus buttons here. They are low profile and they are rubberized. So very easy to operate, easy to find and use, but low profile, that's not gonna snag on anything. So to turn the optic on, if it is off, all you have to do is push one of the buttons, either plus or minus, the optic will turn on. Of course, the plus and minus will operate the illumination settings as well. So up goes brighter and minus goes dimmer. Um, you can find the perfect illumination setting for your environment. To turn the optic off is very simple as well. You just hold down the minus button. And when you hold that down, the optic will power off. So very very simple operation with this red dot, which is nice. Looking at the battery compartment here, it is well knurled and it is a screw down cap here that's easy to operate so you can remove the battery, which this optic is powered by a CR2032 battery to get that 14,000 battery life hours. You notice the cap is also branded here with Nikon, which is a nice touch. And I really do like that knurling. It's easy to grab onto that cap to remove that when you need to. Also well done are the windage and elevation uh, caps here for the turrets. So they just thread on and off as well. You'll notice it does have the little screwdriver uh, flathead here machined into the cap so you can use that to adjust the windage and elevation. Now, the only thing I'll mention is the adjustments for your windage and elevation, very tactile, works just fine, but they're not real audible, so keep that in mind. The optic also comes with a spacer, so you can see I have the full co-witness spacer installed right now. You can also put an additional spacer in there that will get it up to the uh, lower one-third uh, height as well. And if you remove these spacers, it is basically a low mount, which would be perfect for like a shotgun or an AK, something like that. So very well done. They give you all the hardware to uh, pick whatever height you need and also all the screws to mount it. So Nikon uh, takes care of you there. The optic does come with a uh, bikini cover too. Nothing fancy, but it does protect the lens if you need to. So uh, that is included in the box as well. 
And here we are outside taking a look through the red dot. And the first thing you might notice besides the actual red dot is how clear that glass is in the color of that glass. So again, this does have that Nikon true color technology. So the color of the lens is true to life. So if that's important to you guys, you know, this Nikon is definitely a red dot you might want to consider uh, purchasing or adding to your collection. So very nice on that. Now, as for the actual red dot, you'll notice it is very crisp. It's a two MOA uh, dot here. And of course, we can go up and down on the illumination. Uh, this dot will get very bright, as you can see here. Uh, I think most of the time you're probably going to run it between settings four and six, but uh, you can certainly go up higher if you need to. And remember, the bottom two illumination settings are night vision compatible. But overall, very nice red dot here looking through it. Uh, the reticle is well done, and that true color glass uh, technology is very nice indeed. So to wrap this video review up here, you know, the Nikon Super Dot really surprised me. I think it's a really solid red dot here. Um, particularly, it's something that you should consider if you really want to have true to life color when looking through your red dot. You know, some people really want that for say like hunting or something like that. And this dot here is probably the best in the market on that. When you look through this glass, just as we saw on the video just uh, earlier, uh, it's true to life. And that's uh, really nice when compared to a lot of other, other optics in this price range. They're going to have a blue or greenish tint. So I really like that about this red dot. I also like the, the dot is very crisp. It's, it's very precise and it can get really bright. So it's pretty much a do-it-all red dot. Now, the only thing I'll mention here that's a, the main negative with this red dot is it doesn't have an auto on feature. If this optic had that feature, it would be an absolute home run. It's still an awesome red dot, uh, but I do wish that this particular optic did have that auto on, like say, like a Holosun. But you know, overall, it's it's a really solid red dot here. The construction on it is really nice. You know, it just feels like a quality red dot when you hold it. Uh, they're actually manufactured and, and made in the Philippines, so uh, in my opinion, probably a step up from some other optics that are going to be made or manufactured in China. Uh, it just feels like a, a better optic. Um, also, the, the warranty with this is solid. You know, Nikon has some of the best customer service in the market, and they offer a five-year warranty with this red dot, no questions asked. So solid warranty. You know, it's not lifetime, but, you know, Nikon is going to take care of you if something happens to this red dot. I have no doubt. So overall, you know, this super dot, it's, it's definitely a very nice red dot, and it's one that really surprised me. So if you're in the market for a red dot, you definitely should consider this super dot from Nikon. And don't forget to head over to my website if you do want to purchase one of these. I have them available. And use coupon code super dot to take ten dollars off to get it down to 190 so at that price i think it's a good option you should definitely consider it so if you have any questions or comments on this red dot feel free to leave them down below i'll do my best to answer them y'all guys take care i'll catch you on the next one